was Teresa's sentencing not so quickly. She insisted on it. Teresa. Teresa, do you want a death wish? No, no, Louise. I mean, things didn't go quite the way that I, that I thought they would, but it's, it's going to be okay. Okay? You, you're condemned to die. No, no, no. See, Ethan, he is going to appeal the judge's ruling, and, and, and he's going to get the sentence overturned. I, I'm sure of it. It's going to be okay. I think you're being really naive. Miguel is right. You, Teresa, you're heading straight to the death chamber. How if I can help it, Louise? Your Honor, I beg that you reconsider incarcerating Mrs. Crane. Right, she is, after all, pregnant and needs prenatal care. She'll get that in prison. The Women's Penitentiary has excellent physicians on staff. But, Your Honor, I... Court stands I, I, in recess while I deliberate Mrs. Crane's execution date. All rise. Dear God, Teresa, what have you done? It's gonna be okay. Mama. Mama. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that I said you please, please be okay, Mama. I'm sure she will be. You see what you've done, Teresa? This crazy confession of yours hasn't only affected you, it's affected everyone around you. Your family, people who love you and care about you. Louise, I am so sorry for the, the hurt that I have caused you, but everything is gonna be okay. Ethan will get the sentence overturned. Well, what if he can't? You're willing to die for a crime that you didn't commit? No, Louise, I'm not going to die! Teresa, you can turn this all around, you know. Louise is right. All you have to do is recant your confession, tell them we really killed Julie, and let them be executed. No, Louise, I can't. I will not take back my, my confession. I am guilty of murder. No, you're not! You are protecting someone. Oh, I know that you didn't kill Julian. Teresa, who is it that you're willing to die for? They are. They're guilty. My baby being sentenced to death. How did this happen, Father? How? She's innocent. She would never commit that horrible crime. I believe you, Pilar. As I said, evil has returned to harmony. I felt it at Charity's birthday party, and I feel it here among us now. Don't you agree, Ethan? Why are you asking me about e evil and harmony, Father? What would I know about it? You've experienced evil firsthand, haven't you, Ethan? No, Ethan doesn't know anything about evil being in harmony, Father. That's not true, Teresa. Father Lonnie is right. I fought the demons at my dad's house. Oh, yes. Yes. Father, Ethan is he such he is such a good man and, and he's trying to do the noble thing again by, by by helping me out right now. Then there's only one thing Ethan must do and he must do it quickly before it's too late. But uh, I still don't understand what you're getting at, Father. I'm sure that Father Lonigan means that, that you need to, to hurry and file an appeal to, to get me off right away, right, Father? Actually. Oh, Oh my God! Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm, I'm lightheaded, Mama. Okay. Oh. Someone call Doctor Russell. Oh. Oh. oh gosh! Oh no no no! You know what? I, I'm 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 fine. I'm 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 totally fine. I I I didn't I didn't eat this morning and oh. I, I can use a glass of water, Ethan. 
get you some. Okay. Ooh. I'm fine. Come on. Let's go see if the bailiff knows how much longer the judge is going to be. Thank you. for someone and he could think it's Ethan. I understand your concern, but you need not remind me of my duties as a priest. I have lived with the knowledge of your admission and it weighs heavily on my soul. But please, Father, do not feel burdened. I am doing this of my own free will. I understand that. But as long as I thought you would get off with a slap of the wrist or a light prison term, I was able to sleep at night. But now, being put to death, you have put me in a very difficult position. As a priest, I know I must honor my vows and keep secret your admission that Ethan killed Julian. But as a man, I cannot stand aside and watch you be put to death for a crime you did not commit. I must get through to Ethan, make him understand that he must do the right no, thing. No, 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 Father. He, Ethan, he cannot know what I'm doing. If he confesses to Julian's murder, he will be executed, Father. I am sure of that. But see, that's not, that's not going to happen to me. You were just sentenced to death. But you heard, Ethan. He's, he's appealing, he's appealing my, my sentence all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary, okay? I am sure that the judge's ruling will be overturned, Father. The state is not going to execute a crane. Please, please, Father. <laughs> I'm begging you to not let anyone know that Ethan killed that Julian. Please, Father. Father, get in the sun. Feeling better? Yes, I'm, I'm so much better, Ethan. Thank you. I, I completely trust that you will get my sentence overturned on appeal, Ethan. And see, I, I was just telling him. Father Lonigan, that there's no way that Alistair will allow the state to execute a crane. So, honey, I can hardly believe what we heard on the radio. Is it true? I'm afraid so. Teresa's been sentenced to death, but I'm going to appeal the judge's ruling. 